Today, I'm gonna show you how to repair corrupted Windows files. Whether it be user error, malware, or a virus, important Windows files can be damaged. This damage can cause crashing, disable your update ability, or even cause Windows Defender to stop functioning. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways to fix Windows file corruptions. The first way will fix most problems, and if that doesn't work, the second way should fix it. To start things off, click the search box and type CMD. Now, right-click the command prompt and select Run as Administrator. At the command prompt, we are going to type in a set of commands, which will scan your operating system for corrupted files, download replacement files, and correct the problem. I will list all the commands in the video description. Type in the following command, dism.exe space slash online space slash cleanup dash image space slash Restore health. This may look like it goes by pretty fast on video, but some of these processes can take a little while, so it's best to let it do its thing. Now back at the command prompt, type in the following command. SFC space slash scan now. This command is scanning your files for corruption and attempting to fix them. Just as before, be patient and let it do its job. If these commands fixed your problem, then great. But as you can see on my screen, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. Essentially, this means this command did not fix or find anything wrong on my computer. Now, hopefully it says otherwise for you and is able to fix your problem. However, if it's not able to, then what we do next should. In this next step, we are going to force a re-update on our Windows installation. Doing this will replace many Windows files with their default versions. The first thing we're going to want to do is open up a browser and go to this site. A direct link to this will be in the video description. Now click Download Tool under the Create Windows 10 Installation Media section. Once downloaded, run the program. Accept the license agreement. And here we have two options. Upgrade this PC now and create installation media. We're going to want to select upgrade this PC now. Accept the license agreement. Once it's ready, you'll be greeted by this screen saying that everything is ready to install. From here, click install. Sit back and let Windows re-upgrade itself. After quite a bit of time, this process should complete, bringing you back to your desktop. Check to see if you still have the issues you had before. Hopefully this did fix your issues. If not, you'll have to further diagnose the problem. However, 9 out of 10 times, the problems will be fixed. So anyway guys, Hopefully this video was helpful, and as always, if you like this video, and you want more like it, do us a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.